I'm doing a mini cut to get lean for summer. I'm gonna show you my protein overnight oats breakfast prep for easy fat loss. And I'm making three different kinds. Black Forest, peanut butter banana, and strawberry cheesecake. It's gonna taste like dessert. You're not even gonna believe how fun and tasty dieting can be. So let's do the Black Forest one first and this is what you're gonna need, cue to roll. You're gonna need some containers, three containers, cause we're gonna make this in layers. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna make all the bases and then I'll show you how I top the oats as I eat them for breakfast in the morning. So for the Black Forest, for the yogurt layer, you're going to need a third cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt and I using, I using the one from Costco. <laughs> five grams of vanilla protein powder, and I'm using Hudult HTLT Sup's Vanilla Ice Cream Protein Powder. It is the best vanilla ever. 10% off, use code Nicole, and you can get 10% off. That is the Greek yogurt layer. For the overnight oats themselves, we're doing them like a chocolatey style. So you need two teaspoons of cocoa powder. I'm using the Hershey's Dark Cocoa, a teaspoon of sweetener. I'm gonna use Splenda, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and we like to use the Kirkland one. Half a scoop of protein powder. I'm using the HTLT Subs, the S'mores protein powder. It is so good. It's good for chocolate recipes too. You will also need a tablespoon of low calorie syrup to go in the oats, and I'm gonna be using the Steve's Maples. And then for the cherry layer, oh, and did I say half a cup of quick oats? You'll need half a cup of quick oats, and I'm using the great value kind. Then for the cherry layer, we need a third cup of frozen cherries, and these ones are from Costco. And then two teaspoons of that Steve's Maples low calorie syrup. For the topping the next day, you're gonna need some maraschino cherries, some low sugar chocolate syrup. I like using the Nesquik less sugar, and then some light whipped cream. Sorry. Right, that's the French side, there we go. So those will be for the next day. Three little containers. I have put a label because I'm gonna be making three different kinds. I wanna know which one is which. So I just taped a little black forest on here so I know that those are the black forest oats. I'm gonna use the biggest container and then I'm gonna put all the dry ingredients into that one. So we're gonna get the oats soaking. So pour all that. And then I'm just gonna stir this up until really well combined. Okay, so now I'm going to pour my tablespoon of sweetener or syrup into the milk. I'm just gonna give it a little stir and I'm gonna pour it into the oats. Stir this all up and then I'm literally gonna put this in the fridge overnight so that it gets all nice and creamy and beautifully overnighty oaty. And now we're gonna make the other layers. So we're gonna do the yogurt one. I'm gonna get my container yogurt into the container to sweeten it and give it a little more protein. Put the vanilla protein powder in and stir it around until it's really well combined. Then I'm gonna put a lid on this and let it sit in the fridge overnight as well. And now the cherries. I'm just going to chop these in half. Uh, use a cutting board and, and, and um, don't do what I'm doing. Uh, da, da, actually, I think they're big. I'm gonna put them in quarters. So we're just gonna chop them up and put them into the container so that they can thaw in the fridge overnight. And I'm gonna pour the syrup over top to give them a little sweetness. And that will be the cherry layer. Okay, the cherries are all chopped up. Pour the syrup on top. I'm gonna give it a little stir and then they'll thaw overnight and they'll also produce like a little juice as they do. And that's gonna be the sweetest thing on the world. So our black forest overnight oats are set and ready to go in the fridge. And we're gonna move on to the peanut butter banana oat base. Okay, for the peanut butter banana one, I got my big container. I get these from Walmart, in case you're wondering. And I have labeled it PB banana. Half a cup of quick oats. It's the same great value quick oats that I used in the other one. We need half a scoop of protein powder. I'm using maple cookie protein, the HTLT steps. Oh my goodness, is this good in protein oats and stuff? So that half a scoop. 
or 17 grams. We need a tablespoon of powdered peanut butter and I'm using PB and me and that's it there. And then one teaspoon of low calorie sweetener, that's the Splenda. We also need three quarters of a cup of almond milk and that's the Kirkland unsweetened vanilla. And then we need a tablespoon of low calorie syrup and again I'm using the Steve's maples. And then for toppings, when we're ready to do it, we're gonna do like half the oats and then half of a sliced medium banana and then we're gonna top it with some more PB2, so you'll need some more of that, some light whipped cream, and some peanut butter baking chips, and these are the Hershey's chippets that I like to use. So we're gonna put in the oats, we're gonna put in the, I was gonna call this the maple syrup, but clearly it's protein powder. And then we're gonna put in the powdered peanut butter and the sweetener. Stir this all together until it's really well combined. Okay, I'm gonna pour the syrup into the milk. Give that a quick stir, pour it right in there. Mix it until it's well combined. And then I'm gonna put a lid and store this in the fridge overnight. Okay, that one is done. We'll put the lid on that. I have lost 130 pounds and I've kept it off for eight years. And breakfast, it was super important in my success because anytime I skip breakfast on my journey, I ended up being so hungry by the end of the day that I would, all heck would break loose. I would end up eating everything and go way off track. So having super tasty filling breakfast like these prepped and ready to go really helped me be successful on my journey. To lose the weight and right now when I'm leaning out, something like this is the bee's knees. For this one, we're making two layers. So for the strawberry layer, we're going to need half a cup of frozen strawberries. I'm using the whole strawberries from Costco. And then two teaspoons of that low calorie syrup. Then for the oats, we need half a cup of almond milk, a tablespoon of low calorie syrup, a teaspoon of sweetener, a quarter cup of plain fat-free Greek yogurt, half a cup of quick oats and 17 grams of protein powder and I'm using the Hoodles or HTLT Sup strawberry cheesecake protein powder. For toppings, for when it's time to eat them, some we're gonna need some graham cracker crumbs. These are honey graham crumbs just from my local grocery store. Then we also need some light whipped cream. We'll reserve a slice of strawberry when that's thawed out. And we'll need some cream cheese baking chips. If you don't have cream cheese or you can't find them, white baking chips will work the same way. Two containers, and I have labeled this one straw cheesecake. For the straw layer, we're just going to literally pour the straws in there, pour the syrup on top, and let those babies thaw overnight. For the oats, I'm gonna put the oats, the protein powder, and the sweetener. Stir this until really well combined. Pour your tablespoon of syrup into the milk, splink it around like so, and then we're gonna pour that and the yolk into the container. This is kind of like the cheesecakey portion, like want it to sort of be like creamy like cheesecake, you know? So that's why I'm adding the yogurt in this one. Lid it and forget it. <laughs> this is going in the fridge overnight. Tomorrow, you don't have to wait till tomorrow, but I do. In one second, you're gonna see me topping the Black Forest Quick Oats. And you'll see how I top it and I'll give you the cows. Let's open up all the lids. These are the cherries. Those are looking good. And then look how sweet those look the vanilla yogurt. So I have a sweet little glass here and I'm gonna stir together the yogurt. It sometimes can get a little watery when you put it overnight in the fridge. So I'll just stir that up and then I'm gonna put that in the bottom of my glass. Okay, so next, the cherries. And what I wanna do for picture purposes is make sure most of them get around the side, you guys can kind of just put it however, but we want it to look real sweet. So I'm going to just spoon them over top here. And now we're gonna top it. So I've got this, that nest quick I showed you. I'm going to do a teaspoon and I'm just gonna eyeball it just cause it looks cuter that way, but you can measure a teaspoon of, dre of dressing, of sauce over top there. 
And there, we're gonna put two tablespoons of whipped cream. Like that. Ooh. And then, we're gonna top it with a maraschino cherry. Oh yeah. Black Forest overnight oats, sweetheart! Okay, so this is what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast and I thought I would just show you on the side, I am gonna be having half a cup of fresh fruit, so a quarter cup of straws, a quarter cup of bloobs, and one slice of reduced sodium bacon. The fruit and the bacon adds 143 cals. The calories for the overnight oats, 375 cals, six grams of fat, 52 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of protein. Oh, gotta get a little bit of everything. Wow. wow. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Mm. So the friends, I get asked all the time if I do like one-on-one -on -one coaching, or I see in the comments people going, oh, I wish I could spend like a whole week with you to see what you eat, how you train, well, I don't offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I do have my, my weight loss ebook, Leaner Not Meaner. Everything that I ate and did to go from a size 10 to a size four and get my leanest body ever. My four week meal plan, exact one, exact weight training plan, exact cardio plan. It's like spending a whole month with this, with Colas. Code Nicole will save you 10% and the link is down below. It is a beautiful value of super cuteness. Okay, so let's open up the oats. Oh, they look great. We'll stir those up. And then I have half a banana sliced, ready to go. I've got a teaspoon of powdered peanut butter that I have mixed with water to be runny enough that I'll drizzle it over my oats. And then a teaspoon of those peanut butter baking chips that I showed you before and some light whipped cream. So I'm gonna put half the oats in my fancy glass. Okay, and now I'm going to put my bananas in the glass all around so that it looks really cute and you can see them from the outside. I'll top with the rest of my oats, drizzle it with my powdered peanut butter. Oh yeah, the whippy creamy. So two tablespoons of the whipped cream. I'm going to put a slice of banana on top and then I'm gonna add these guys, these little chips in. Okay, so calories for this Overnight oats, 368 cows, eight grams of fat, 54 grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. So let's take a beautiful little bite. Gotta get everything. Oh my gosh. Can't believe I'm eating this for breakfast, dude. The Black Forest oats was great. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's my favorite now. I am having a slice of reduced sodium bacon and half a cup of bloobs and a quarter cup of straws alongside of my overnight oats again. Forgot to say how many cows the fruit and bacon added because it's slightly more fruit today with the peanut butter banana oats. So it's a quarter cup of bloobs, half a cup of straws, and one slice of reduced sodium bacon and it will add 157 cows. And we're topping the straw cheesecake oats today. Let's do it. Okay, I got my fancy glass, and this is what the oats look like. So I'm gonna give it a lovely stir. So we're gonna put some into the bottom, and then I've got my strawberry mixture here. I have chopped the strawberries up, um, that way it gives a really good, lovely layer. So let's dump those in there. And then, oh, we're gonna top it with the rest of the oats. Okay, and I have some baking crumbs, some honey baking crumbs. I'm just gonna put that on top so that it's so cute. And then, honey graham, right? honey graham 
just basically like graham cracker crumbs. This yeah. is just the no name stuff. And then I'm going to take my light whipped cream and I'm gonna do two tablespoons on top. Like that. And I took a slice of strawberry just to put on top to make it cute. Hey. And then I've got those cream cheese baking chips, one teaspoon. And again, you can use white if you like white chocolate chips if you don't have the cream cheese ones available to you. Wow, this looks amazing. And I'm just gonna kind of shove these in. This does look so good. All right, cuties, calories for this one. 350 cals, seven grams of fat, 49 grams of carbs, and 26 grams of protein. And I'm going to be serving this with a third cup of bloobs, half a cup of straws, and one slice of the reduced sodium bacon. So add 161 cals with this today. I'll just get a little cute on the side with some straws. Get one of those. They get better every time. Whoa! I don't know which one's my favorite. They're all so good. You gotta make them all. So the friends, dieting does not have to be boring. And having tasty, easy to prep meals like this on hand really helps me stay on track and get really good results. And hopefully it will help you too. I love you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vid. Don't forget to watch this vid and this vid because I show you sustainable weight loss tips that make your life fun, love your food, and show you that weight loss doesn't have to be a punishment. Peace, and I'll catch you in the next one. Kilda Rooney. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it. <laughs>